Okay, I erased that video before. Um, I'm not good with doing the Facebook Lives as far as sharing a desktop. So let me just introduce you to the Builderall. I use it a lot for the um, the website design. You're allowed 15 domains and unlimited subdomains. So let me just bring you through some of the templates that you can choose from, and then we can go through how I would easily edit this. I had a question um, about this last night could you just show us like the back end and so if I'm giving you you know a, a making you dizzy and stuff I apologize for that um, let me just show you how we edited a website <clears throat> so 15 domains you're allowed unlimited um, subdomains so you may want to share this if you have somebody on your team that you're working with you um, there are different pages on the website that you can easily um, maneuver around so this whole thing could just you know be moved everywhere you could move this around you you're basically unlimited with you know if you don't like any of the fonts you would just add a font to it as far as what you're allowed to add different uh, all different types of text um, banners boxes uh, and other images you could layer an image on top of that if you wanted to do that and then you could edit that you have the option of you know um, you know, adding videos and um, email marketing forms. And so all of that is right here. Like if you wanted to do an email marketing form right there, if you wanted to do like a checkout, just place that anywhere. Or sales funnel, um, blogging is going to be updated, but you have the option of a blog as well. And then um, let me just show you some of the apps that you can add in any of the buy buttons, HTML code. So if you had like a YouTube video or a Vimeo video or any HTML code, you could just add that in there. Webinar, you would set that up somewhere else, but then you would get an HTML code and just pop it anywhere you want. The same with the learning course. It's um, in another section, but you would get the HTML code and then load it in anywhere. Um, anchors, if you wanted to do anchors, if you wanted to do like open table and, and uh, there's coupons and so there's a lot there that you can do with the website um if you didn't like the images you know you just go ahead and you change the image um by changing the appearance it allows you to just make this yeah color background or images if you're on here and, and you don't like this image you change that if you don't like where that is you move this around um it's really easy just to move things around if you're in different sections, like and you don't really like this section at all, then what you do is you just click it and that whole thing will go. Um, you will have to take this section here and bring it up. So you just, it's like a drag and drop, but then what's neat, neat about it, what I think is neat about it is that you can layer things too. And if you don't like that, you just get rid of that. If you wanted to add banners, remember we erased that banner, so I have to move everything up. There's testimonials here that you can, you know, change around. Um, Everything is just basically, you know, drag and drop. So, you know, um, contact forms, there's all different contact forms that you could use, the images, all the text and stuff that you want to change. Your, um, let me just show you some of the fonts that are here. Okay. Um, I'll let those pop up. But the bottom line is, I, I think that you, anything that another website can do, another platform could basically be done here. So as you can see, there's a ton of fonts to choose from. I was mentioning on another video, if you don't see the font that you want, because there's quite a bit, these are like the um, fonts that are picked up by Google, like the browsers and stuff. So say you wanted to do this as like, um, yeah, let's see, like a heading somewhere. You wanted to do this like in a different font. Then what you could do is an image in Canva and bring that in if you by chance don't see it here, but there's a lot of fonts. So if you're not seeing it, definitely do an image because that's a, a font that's probably going to default to a base, the default, like what you would see right here. So um, if you guys are interested, I can talk more about that. Section for a blog, I mentioned section for shopping carts. Um, so let's get out of that right now. We'll get rid of the building part. <clears throat> We're going to go back to the what else is on here. A bunch of sales funnels that you can do. Um, there's a business app creator. Now, you could be doing this for your own business. You could be doing this for other businesses and just selling off the you know the app creator itself if you're good at designing or you want to learn how to design apps they have an app creator the plans are $9.99 for website $29.99 for website and um an autoresponder and you get some other tools with that 
I believe the $9.99 plan is going away July 4th, though. And then there's the $49.99, the $50 plan a month, which I'm on right now that has the tools that I'm showing you. You can go through it. I'll put a link in the comments. You can see the different tools that are associated with each account. But um, if you guys wanted to split because there's 15 domains on each of these sites, that would be fine too if you're working on the same team. So App Creator, I mentioned, Canvas Builder has to do with like putting out a... Um, you know, landing pages. I did that in another video, but it's basically an illustration where you can map out different pages. And if they click on one thing, uh, they would be taken to one trail. And if they don't click on it, or if they don't, they say no to it, like it's an, like an up sale and down sale, you're able to design that. Mailing boss responder is the autoresponder. You're able to set up e email sequences and whatnot. So that's real good. Unlimited lists and unlimited um, email subscribers. So that's really good. You can have a list of 20,000 and it doesn't cost anything extra. Um, design allows you to do mock-ups. It allows you to do uh, some photo editing videos. You're able to do animated videos, apps. Um, there's a bunch of apps here. I don't even remember what they have here. I know I've used some of them, but not all of them. So there's browser notifications. So this, that would be push notifications. If you want to send out push notifications to your, you know, if they agree to that, your um, customers, your patients can get push notifications, SEO report. Click map is kind of neat. It, when somebody goes on the site, you'll be able to see where, what their eyes are actually focusing on or where their, you know, their mouse is, what they're actually looking at. Um, Auto post is neat in the sense that you could, um, how do I, I kind of did like a thing the other day. Say you have um, a guy that you want to give away, so you could write an email, like you could write a post in your Facebook, and you could write, if you're interested in this guide, um, let me know and, and write interested. So they click on interested, you set it up so that when someone types interested, you, you send them an automatic message that would say, okay, Sarah, whatever the name is, um, you're interested in this guide, There, here's the website to find it, or you would give them a link to find it, or you would just give them more information. You want to, Do you want to hear about a sale, yes or no, when they type yes, you would send them a message as far as the sale goes. Facebook chat box, I spent a video on that already. I have one on my page, Sharon Mack, if you want to take a look at that and just kind of play with that. I need more work done there, but it's you know pretty extensive as far as what you're able to do with it, which I like. And again, it all has to do with like automating, doing automation tools, working smarter and not harder. So if someone comes on your website, web um, I'm sorry, your Facebook page, and then they're able to, you know, learn more information. You could send them to, again, different products, different services that you have, um, different videos. If you want to send, you know, do a welcome video, different landing pages, different things that you can do. Don't know what ShareLocker is. I have to spend some time with that. E-learning has to do with the courses. Two ways that you can do courses here. You can do, um, in a, a like, it's in a section, then you get the HTML and you share it on your website. You could do a whole nother website just dedicated to all your courses and put the courses on the website and then just put a membership area over that. You're able to lock that down. Well, that has to do with when you're lose, um, leaving the website, you get to spin a wheel and you get a freebie gift. I haven't looked into that at all. That's probably good for maybe gaming and stuff. I'm not sure, but not what I'm doing. Video wrapper is kind of good for that pattern disruption. You do a video and then you put things around the video. I've done um, examples of that before in the past. Instagram autoresponder I have set up. It's real easy for me. I just do a heart every time. Like if you guys have uh, commented on my post, you probably get a heart. I'm not on Instagram a lot, so that works for me. Webinars I've done before in another video. You could live stream into a group. Um, it allows, I think, up to six members, but I think, you know, it definitely gets wonky. So I personally would just use that as a webinar, like going into a group or just, you know, sharing your screen and doing a webinar that, that way. Special add-ons. Um, I don't even know what that is, to tell you the truth. There's a lot here, and honestly, I have not um, spent, I've spent a fair amount of time on it, but not I don't know what that is. Marketplace. If you have a course, you put it in the marketplace, people can sell it for you and, you know, it'd be an affiliate link. Also with any of the courses or products that you're selling, 
you want to do online courses at checkout July 4th, there'll be like an automatic, you know, anyone that's checking out, I believe if you set it up, it could be an affiliate for your course right from the beginning. So that should be pretty good. Uh, tutorials and training, there's a ton of videos. They have live training Tuesday nights, Wednesday morning, and I have one at 10 o'clock this morning. Um, Builder All Business, that's like the business aspect of it where they give you funnels and stuff like that to promote if you wanted to do that. You don't have to do the build, business Builder All. That has to do with, you know, building a team. You could just use the, the um, digital tools themselves. I think, honestly, for what they're giving you, it's a great price. I know that ClickFunnels is $100 a month. Kajabi, I think, is $120 a month, depending on what plan you're on. Um, tickets, they offer support. Um, and that's pretty much it. So starting July 4th, there's more tools coming. I don't even know what a lot of the tools are, but I do know that they have an online magazine coming. It's really pretty. It's um, it's um, And they have new templates coming as well, from what I understand, which is nice. But again, any of these, you know, you should... I, I can't tell you what to do, but I personally think that you should not be using video. Like you could go to Unsplash and pick videos on images there. But personally, I think if I wouldn't necessarily invest in somebody to create your website, but I certainly would invest in better photography. So if you're like photography of you, because I think it makes more personalized than using stock photography, that were, that's where I would spend my money. And basically with these websites, you can create it any way you want and add anything to it. So that's it. I know a magazine is coming, like I had mentioned, with beautiful templates. That's really good. Like if you're into travel, um, you can, you know, um, do different destinations. Um, if you have different services and lots of different ways, like if you have uh, products, you could display that in a magazine, an online magazine. So, and you've seen those before. Um, it's pretty neat in the sense that like the pages flip as you're looking through it rather than just clicking and, you know, bringing it to another page. So I think that that's it. I think that this is a good summary. I hope that this guy, this has helped you. And um, and comes Thursday, this whole thing is changing. They're updating the whole, um, I don't know, even, even all this. This will not look the same. I've seen it. It's all like bright colors. And I am... Um, I don't know, I guess they got a designer in to make it look more prettier. I'm not sure. But anyway, they're adding more tools, and so the prices do go up July 4th. And just reach out to me if you're interested at all. You can certainly trial it. There's a seven-day free trial, um, but just keep in mind that the closer that you get, um, the prices will go up. I don't know when those prices lock in. I know July 4th, they're definitely going to be up, but people are talking about it could be even uh, June 30th at you know, will be the last day that you can buy the $50 plan. I'm not sure. I haven't seen anything in writing. I have a meeting at 10 o'clock, so they may see something like that there. But anyway, I've talked enough. I hope you guys are well, and I'll see you soon.